Howdy guys, welcome to the video for Elden Ring. My name is Venice SGN. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find a scythe. It's a pretty incredible weapon in my opinion, especially good when you enhance it. But before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel for Elden Ring and leave a comment with any questions you might have. To get this particular site, you must first discover the Cliff Bottom Catacombs. This is a place that is extremely easy to get to. It even has a guidance statue if you need further help getting to it. To get there, I started from this Lakeshore Gray site and then headed northeast on my mount. The guidance statue is here, seen on my map, and it will point you in the right direction. Be careful getting there though, there are these tiny little men that litter the area around the catacombs entrance and they do a decent bit of damage. Inside the catacomb can be tricky as imps are all over the first section and are pretty strong and hidden, usually around corners. When traveling down hallways, I suggest to stick to a side left or right as there are glintstone arrows that will impale you if you walk down the middle. If we break this catacomb up, I put it into two sections, one where the enemies you face will mostly be imps, and the second section where it's nothing but these ogre looking things that have really aggressive combos. In the first section is where the scythe is hidden, though these catacombs have a lot of other good loot drops for completing it. The scythe is actually in an upstairs room. To get to it, you must defeat a few imps and at least one ogre. There is a second ogre sleeping beneath the staircase, but you can skip him if you want because he won't wake up unless you go near him. So once you reach the staircase seen here, Head up and ignore the misty door for now because there is an ogre waiting to ambush you. I dealt with him by repeated glintstone plebble blast. There are two imps on the ledge to the right of the second staircase. Deal with them as they have really annoying ranged attacks as well as their normal melee weapons. Once you finish with the two imps and the ogre, heal if you need to then head through the only door at the top of the second staircase. It leads to a room with two more imps waiting to ambush you, one at the mouth of the corridor to the right and one clinging to the back wall that will jump off and attack you as soon as you start fighting the other imp. Do not fight them in the middle of the room as there are three arrow holes that will shoot you if you are in front of them. The next room after this is where the scythe is hidden. Now this room, just like the last, has three arrow holes in the middle waiting for you to stand in front of them. There are two imps in plain sight when you look into the room along with the corpse and the loot. This is the scythe. Head to the doorway but don't go in. Instead, back up and bait out the imps. Defeat them one by one and then head in. If you position yourself right between the arrow holes on the wall, you won't get hit when they shoot. However, as soon as you do go for the scythe, one final imp will drop down to attack you. Be prepared for that. Finished with all of the enemies, you can now claim the scythe. Like I said, the rest of these catacombs hold a lot of good loot. Two more ashes to summon to your aid, the page, and Caden the Cell Sword. The page is in the second section of the catacombs protected by an ogre who will have his back to you once you reach him so you can easily get rid of it. And Caden the Cell Sword is the reward for completing the dungeon by defeating the boss at the end. Caden the Cell Sword costs 88 FP to summon so if you don't have the FP it might not be worth it to go for it just yet. The page is also kind of expensive at 81 FP to summon. In the stone sword door, the misty one that we ignored earlier, you can find the Nox Mirror Helm. If this video was helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, you can show me your thanks by giving me your like. For more information on Elden Ring, head on over to my channel and check out my playlist. While you're there, turn notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great rest of your day.